These are 3D printed math gears. There's one 8 tooth, one idler, one 16 tooth, one 24 tooth, and a 32 tooth. This assembly right here is what the gears ride on and it has two pegs attached by rubber bands that slide in a track to hold the gears together. This is just a great tool to teach kids how gears and gear ratios work. The gears super easily snap into the pegs and are able to turn freely. This is really great for showing gear ratios like right here where you have a 32 tooth gear and an 8 tooth gear where the 8 tooth gear has to spin four times for the 32 tooth gear to spin once. This is a four to one gear ratio and it is super easily seen by these arrows on the gears. Right here is an example of a two to one gear ratio because the 16 tooth gear has to spin twice for the 32 tooth gear to spin once. There are so many different combination of gears that you can just let kids or even adults play for hours and test out different orientations to see how the gears work. The A tooth idler gear also presents another teaching point because you can also experiment with what the A tooth idler gear does to the gear ratio. Like you saw in the clip before, sometimes you get skipping on the gears because the rubber bands don't pull the gears together enough, but this can be solved by adding a stronger rubber band. You can also experiment with some really cool challenges, like how many times does the 24 tooth gear have to spin for the 32 tooth gear and the 24 tooth gear arrows to a finally align again. In this case, the 24 tooth gear has to spin four times and the 32 tooth gear has to spin three times for them to align back again. Gear ratios aren't that hard to figure out, but it's still a ton of fun to just experiment and play around. It's also pretty simple to show that when you spin the 32 tooth gear, the 8 tooth gear appears to be going faster, but the 32 tooth gear has more power or torque. This is one of my favorite models that I've ever printed because it's just so cool and it works so well and the designer of this is a genius because of how well the pieces fit together because all of the pieces snap in very easily and it's just a very secure and sound model. I've definitely been playing around with this a lot lately and it's just a great teaching point as well. My printers aren't even tuned that well and it still worked for me. It just needed a tiny bit of sanding but that's normal for any print that has pieces that fit together. This model even has a little thumb placement that you can put your thumb in and hold down the model while you're spinning the gears. Major props to the designer of this model because of how well it fits together and how well it works. It's just great to see that anybody can print this and it'll work for them. Thanks for watching and again, happy printing.